So in our current composition, if we scrub our playhead, we should have a photo and switch to the next photo, switch to the next photo at each of these transitions. So these are called hard cuts. It immediately switches from one to the other. So we're going to add in some um, some transitions, some fades for some of them, not all of them, but just for some of them. Sometimes a hard cut works. Sometimes we need a fade between one and the other. So um, let's do five of them with hard cuts and five of them with fades. So here's how it works. You're going to select uh, a random photo. I'm just going to select the second one here. And I want it to, to kind of overlap by 10 frames here and then fade out those 10 frames before it shows the next photo. So the way this works is um, first, here's some keyboard shortcuts you should see. So no, it doesn't matter where your playhead is. Just notice these numbers right over here, the big the, the, the timeline. On your, on your keyboard, there's a page up and page down. So when you click on page down, it moves by one frame. So I'm moving, every time I hit page down, I'm moving by one frame forward. If I do page up, I'm moving one frame backwards. Right? So, but if I do shift page down, so look, it's 18, 15 for me. If I go shift page down, it goes up by 10, 25, 25. So I'm going, I'm, I'm moving by 10 frames forward, shift page up, moves 10 frames backwards. So if you want to move precisely, page up, page down really matters. And remember, the home key goes to the beginning and the end key goes to the end. But to shift by one frame, page up and page down, shift uh, to move uh, by 10 frames is shift page up and page down. Okay, so 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 what? Why do you need to know that? Well, here's what I want to do. I want to actually take this take this piece of uh, this this photo, and I want to extend it by 10 frames. So I'm going to select that layer and press the O key to jump to the out point and now I'm going to shift forward by 10 frames which means shift page down. So I just move forward 10 frames and I want to trim this edge all the way over here to where the playhead is. So to trim the right edge it's just option right square bracket. That's one. I'm going to do the same thing with another layer so it doesn't matter which one just randomly pick four more. So here's another one O for the out, out then shift page down and then option left square option right square bracket so you just pick any of them um, select the layer O for the out point shift page down and uh, option right square bracket so that's three for me how about this one O jump to the out point shift page down move 10 frames and then trim the left the right edge option right square bracket that's one two three four one more so this one randomly right here oh shift page down option right square bracket so now I actually want it to fade out so if you go over the first one here it still exists and then it suddenly disappears I want that one to, to fade out so first I'm going to zoom in so that we can see this better. Remember to zoom in to where you are. It is the equals key. So I'm pressing the equal key and I'm zooming in more and more to my timeline. Okay. Right in here. So uh, I'm going to move my playhead to the end of the audio right here. Boom. Remember if you hold on your shift key, it'll snap to certain points. And then for the photo layer, the, for the photo layer, there are several parameters. Uh, and one of them is T for trans, transparency or opacity. They call it opacity, but the keyboard shortcut is T. All right. So by default, the transparency is 100%, which is great. Now I'm going to make it fade out to 0%. So in order to, to animate that, I need to put in keyframes. All right. So... I am going to select this stopwatch, turn it on, 
and it immediately gives me a keyframe right here. So that means at this point in time, the value of the opacity is 100%. I'm going to jump to the out point of this, this photo layer. So I'll select that photo layer, O for the out point. Again, that is the out point. We just zoomed in quite a lot. So it, it, it might look false, but that is the out point. Um, and then um, at this point, I'm going to change the opacity to zero. So as I scrub my playhead at that point, you can see it go 100% and fade out to zero to reveal the photo underneath. So that's a quick fade out. All right. Um, so I'm going to go to the next one and do the same thing. So where is my next one? So minus, minus like this, and there it is. So I'll select this layer, put my playhead nearby. So then when I press the equal symbol, it actually zooms into that part. So now I want to snap my playhead to the end of this guy, this audio layer. So that audio layer, hold on my shift key and snap. There's the end of it. How do I see the transparency? It's T. So there's a transparency opacity turn on the stopwatch it's at 100% which is fine and then I go to the out point which is O and then change this to zero so now that's gonna fade out like that so then minus key if I figure out where the next one is looks like it's this one this one here put my playhead somewhere near there and the equal symbol, equal key, and now zoom in a bit. Move my playhead to the end here. Snap to the end here. Oh, close enough, because we're on frames. It can only go to a frame. And I'm going to um, uh, T for transparency. Turn on the stopwatch. O for the out point, change it to zero. Minus sign to zoom away, figure out where the next one is. There it is, put my playhead somewhere near there. Equal sign to zoom in. Put my playheads right at the end of the audio. T for transparency, turn on the stopwatch, 100%. Go to the out point, O, zero percent there so then it fades out to reveal the photo underneath minus sign to zoom out zoom away and there's one more I have to do this one here put my playhead nearby equal symbol equal sign and put my playhead at the end can I um, I can't put it right at the end because it stops in between frames so I can only go to a frame ending here okay so select that photo T for transparency turn on the stopwatch O for the out point and change the transparency to zero and check the fade yep there you go minus sign to zoom away that's it. So I should have five of these things. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's how you do a fade out.